Tonight, our first speaker is a strong ally to the LGBTQ community and is a champion for improving public education in Texas. He's an American engineer and politician in the Texas House of Representatives. Ladies and gentlemen, I give you John E. Rosenthal. That long hike. <laughs> it's good, I need the exercise. Thank you all so much. And thanks for having me here. Um, so for those who don't know me, my name is John. I'm John Rosenthal. Um, I'm actually a mechanical engineer from the oil and gas world. So it's kind of hard to consider myself a politician, but now that I've gotten elected, been through a session, I have to claim the title, so I'm a politician. I was one of the 12 that flipped seats in the legislature this session, so it's, it's a little... They call us the freshman 12. Uh, we got some attention, so we raised some eyebrows. The fact that you flipped 12 seats makes some people take notice. And I'm going to talk about that a little bit. So when I was first asked to do this, I was like, that's so cool. I've been to this banquet before. I love you people. I love this room. Um, this is one of the finest places to be because it's a celebration of unity. It's joy. It's love. It's people getting to express the, their true selves. And I'm all about that. So I just absolutely love that. So I wanted to say, oh, yeah. I have a table full of relatives here. My lovely wife, Amita, is in the middle of the room. Stand up, baby. Because if it wasn't for her, I wouldn't be here. So she's, she's the brains and the backbone of the operation. And then we've got her lovely sisters with us, too, tonight. Um, I was... So I don't know if you guys know, um, I was... I was named Freshman of the Year by the Legislative Study Group. So not only was I one of the 12, Legislative Study Group is a nonpartisan policy analysis group. And the reason that I got named Freshman of the Year by them is because I'm focused on policy that's good for the people of Texas. So it doesn't matter what letters after each bill, I wanted things that were good for the people of Texas. And I wanted myself to deliver on policy that's, that comes from, comes from a loving heart that comes from kindness and consideration, that sees all human beings as human. So we, I don't even like to talk specifically about these rights, those rights, the other rights. They're all human rights. Trans rights are human rights. Black Lives Matter because black people are human, right? It's all about human rights. And we need to be treated like we're all humans. And, and to stop seeing what's different about us and start seeing what's the same. So I wanted to talk, oh yeah, and I'm the legislator that brought the gender marker bill that would allow you to change your gender on your birth certificate. <laughs> Which again, I, I mean, thank you very much for that, but if it was me, you shouldn't have to change the gender on your birth certificate to get a driver's license, to, to vote, right? You shouldn't have to do that. You're a human being with, you know, you've got your name, you've got your ID. All you gotta do is prove you're a citizen. You don't have to prove what gender you are or, you know, all right. So I'm not gonna stop with that because I wanted to talk about some of the really positive things that happened. Um, I have a unique perspective as a freshman in the legislature and now I, I may actually be, I was talking with Alexis about this earlier, I may be the first sitting state legislator to speak at one of these banquets. So if that's true, I'm really honored. And even if I'm not the absolute first, I'm not sure I would remember any of the others. So <laughs> the previous session before I was elected, before the freshman 12 came in, was horrendous. And I don't know how engaged you are politically. We need to be engaged politically if we want a seat at the table. We want to stand up for our own rights. Representation matters, elections matter. This election, the fact that we, thank you. Elections matter, so I'm gonna tell you about what this election did. In the previous session, in the 85th session, before I even thought about getting into politics, we got legislators getting into fist fights on the floor over discrimination bills. 
right? Literally. We had a legislator whose name I won't um, mention threatened to call ICE on a group of protesters that were in the balcony at the, on the House floor. And another legislator whose name I won't mention dragged that MFR to the ground, right? <clears throat> so that's just the decorum and the content. And they have special session for a bathroom bill, for crying out loud. We can't get one for gun violence, but governor calls one for a bathroom bill. That's the previous session. So what happens when you flip 12 seats? Everything changes. The tenor changes. Uh, the, the 85th session, there were dozens of anti-LGBT bills. This time, we really only had to beat down like two. There were two that came to the House floor. And that guy, that guy that called ICE, or threatened to call ICE on a bunch of protesters who were in the gallery of our House chamber, was defeated by one of my sheroes. There's a woman named Julie Johnson, who's a, a new representative out of Dallas. Um, the first, she's not the first openly gay representative, but she's the first one to be in a same-sex marriage. So let me tell you how much fun that was when we're at all these fancy receptions and stuff, and they would, they recognize us, you know, how they call out our names and things, and they would say Representative Julie Johnson and her wife, Dr. Sue Austin. <laughs> so not only did Julie Johnson take out this rep, who happened to be the original founder of the Texas Tea Party Caucus, she beat him substantially, won her election by 10 points, 10 percentage points in Dallas. <laughs> took out the original Freedom Caucus guy, took out the guy that brought the Sanctuaries Bill, right, the Anti-Sanctuary Cities Bill, and then not only that, she's the one that defeated the original Chick-fil-A bill that came to the House floor. So she's the lawyer that brought the point of order to kill this bill. Now, Republicans still brought it back. Oh, sorry. Didn't mean to get partisan on you. The people that originally brought it tacked it onto a Senate bill, but we were still able to water that down to the point where it really wasn't traumatic. Things happen this time, like my gender marker bill got heard in committee. In the past, you couldn't even get heard. So uh, another thing that happened was the license to discriminate bill. This was a Senate bill that would have allowed anybody with a state license to, to refuse service to you for some religiously held belief. To me, that's denying people their humanity. But that got killed in committee. It didn't even make it to the House floor. So that's the difference an election makes. When you get active, and you help us flip a bunch of seeds, we can make things happen. So I'm, I'm greatly encouraged, not only by that, but now we've got an LGBTQ caucus in the House. It started, for, it started by five women, one of which was the aforementioned Julie Johnson out of Dallas. But I'm a member of this caucus. It's now up to, um, I think there's 30, 30 members, mostly Democrats. But I'm encouraged because we're making this kind of progress and the wind is blowing our way. The, the people of Texas are tired of divisiveness, of the hate, of, the, um, of just the general ugliness in politics, which is why I'm so glad to be here at a unity banquet talking about love, inclusiveness, and equality. So um, I think that's really what I wanted to say to you all was it's a time to be hopeful. It's a time to continue working towards the things that are important to all of us. It's a time to remember that if you want to defeat hate, the single most powerful force on the planet to defeat hate is what? Love. Love. Thank you very much. I'm John Rosenthal.